because I am going on a staycation in a hotel in Manhattan. I'm not going to reveal the name of the hotel just yet, but it's one of the most Instagrammable, oh my God, this word, Instagrammable hotel in the United States. I am only going to spend one night in this famous location near Bryan Park, giving you a little bit more clues, but I am meeting with one of my best and oldest friends from Rainin Island. We've known each other since the age of 10. We started middle school together. She was my maid of honor and the co-signer of my wedding certificate. I don't know if you have this thing in the United States, but when you get married in France, you need people to co-sign just to be the witness of your union. So I am meeting with her and then we're meeting with another friend with whom we went to high school with. She is a stewardess and she's in New York for a quick trip in between flights. So we're just going to go and catch up on 15 years of life. 16 years old us will be proud of ourselves to be meeting for a girls night out in New York City. I wouldn't call ourselves small town girls, but we are island girls. We are from a place that is very secluded from the rest of the world, yet like big cities. Go look up Reunion Island on Google Maps and comment down below if you knew where it was and if you knew that it was that far away. I don't know, we just had big dreams and I felt like we went after our dreams and I'm very proud of us for doing so. And the fact that we are meeting today in New York City to just catch up is like a little achievement, not only because we've achieved our dream, but because we've kept, you know, an eye on each other and we've cared for each other, even if it was like from a distance and it wasn't like with direct contact. The fact that we are still in each other's life, like 15 years or like 10 years after we've left you know, Rain and Island is for me just a big achievement. So let's finish this makeup, let's pack up and then let's go. I am gonna pack everything in my Tucano backpack that I got at the American Italian um, Chamber of Commerce Christmas Gala. I'm only packing my outfit for tomorrow as well as, you know, my pajamas for tonight. Um, and I'm wondering if I need to take a bathing suit because I'm not sure this hotel has a swimming pool or a sauna, but if it does, I really want to take advantage of it. Instagrammable hotel in North America as per luxury travel advisor and this is the NH Collection Hotel in Midtown. catching up but let me show you the view from our hotel room are you ready for it here she is i'm happy the um, bedroom is also very big this is actually a accessible uh, bedroom for someone that will be in a wheelchair for example and we have a coffee machine with an espresso coffee, a king-size bed, a nice large bathroom, 
am very happy with this hotel. And actually, so I have learned that the suites in this hotel have been um, voted the most Instagrammable in North America. Obviously, we don't have access to the suites, so sadly, I won't be able to show you those, but you can go check it out on Instagram. They have like um, brick walls with huge window and a beautiful view, obviously, um, in on Midtown. We're gonna get ready to go for a walk in Central Park and brave the cold. It's 10 degrees um, Fahrenheit here in New York City. It's, I think, minus 20 in Celsius. It's very cold. And oh my God, I can't wait to do a haul later on because my best friend just brought me the most delicious delicacies from France. I'll show you later. Sneak peek, last room tour. Central to Central Park. Came down to Shake Shack for a well deserved lunch. Before I end this vlog, I wanted to do a food haul of all the things that my friends brought back from France, and that really makes my heart full. I'm gonna set you here. First thing first, cheese, because I am French and I love cheese, of course. And one of my favorite cheese is Conte cheese, and of course, I can find Conte here in the United States. But it's with pasteurized milk and it just doesn't taste the same. So first thing they brought me back is cheese. Another thing that they brought me back is Madeleine. I love Madeleine. Like they are just the best snack in the afternoon if I have like a sweet tooth. Um, they brought me the one from Don Maman, which I really, really like. Of course, I can find those in the United States. But again, here they are so expensive and it's way cheaper to buy them from France and have my friends like bring them back. I have one with like pure butter and one with chocolate. And let me tell you, those are just mwah, delicious. Those are my favorite French cakes. Um, Lou is a very French, like famous French uh, cake brand. And um, those ones are very thin um, cakes with marmalade inside. My favorite are the raspberry, but I also got the strawberry ones. And I used to eat those as a kid. They were the perfect uh, snack in middle schools. And, and last but not least, Chocobon from Kinder. I love Kinder chocolate. I lived in Germany for nine years and I got like... I got enough of Kinder, but I just love to eat those around like the Easter and my birthday. Um, it's just like bring me back to my childhood. And so, yeah, those are very, very dear to me. And they brought me two packages of those. So I am enough for the rest of the year. That's it for the food haul. That's pretty much everything that I've asked my friend to bring back from France. And I love having the opportunity to, you know, have friends pass by New York, stop by New York and be able to bring me a little bit of home. And uh, you know, anytime I need to pick me up or anytime I feel homesick, I just bite in a Madeleine or in a pie dog and be happy or just have a piece of bread with my comfort cheese. Um, I hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog. I just had the best time ever with my friends. It was amazing to be in New York City with one of my oldest and best friend of 20 years. And that being said, I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. See you next time.